All right, so for the greens, I told you guys, I showed you at the supermarket, they were all out of collard greens, okay? So I had to improvise. I said, black woman power, activate, okay? My kids are sitting here eating. So I have some turnip greens here, and then we have some mustard <laughs> greens, okay? And then we also have kale greens, okay? <laughs> so that's what we're going to be cooking um, yeah. instead of collard greens, which I like collard greens, but I like all greens, so... A lot of people don't like turnip and mustard because they have a bitterness to them. But if you just keep, that's my smoothie there. If you keep letting them stew down and stew down and stew down and cook them with a good grade of meat. Most people like smoked meat. Some people use like uh, neck bones, which from pork. We haven't used those in years. So we were using like smoked turkey for a long time. But then we started using beef short ribs. It makes a really good broth and it's really, really good. It's like neutralizing the taste of the bitterness and also you know the key you know put a little pinch of baking soda in there as well or um is it baking soda or what is it a little bit of vinegar as well you can put a little baking soda a little vinegar in there as well to neutralize the like bitterness from the greens okay so you guys know how to pick greens you just take this long stem out yeah some people don't like to use to take all the whole stem out so I'm sorry, guys, my kid, was, my daughter was talking too much. So this vein right here, most people will take the whole vein out or some people take half out, right? And then some people believe in like stacking them up and rolling them and you can cut them. I don't do that. I just simply just do that like that, okay? You want to give them a good rinse in two to three times. You guys are really smart. You know how to wash your greens. Now, I've seen some people wash their greens with soap, which is ridiculous. Some people, have you seen it? Some people use like a little, they use like a little dollop of soap in there. And I'm not doing that. So we just use good old-fashioned water, okay? And we're going to get it in that pot. And what we do is when black women cook greens, we, you know, we have a big old green pot, right? I had to go get actually get another. My mom was so gracious enough to buy it. So on the green pot, we just keep stacking the greens on top of it until it just cooks down <laughs> to the time our uh, the, the voice of our ancestors, of our grandmother, tell us it's done, okay? All right. And then you could take a little bit of cut up onion or tomatoes. And I love to eat those on the side. And I'm going to pay homage to my auntie. She actually started me eating my greens like that. She would cut up fresh tomatoes and then fresh onions. And sometimes she would season those with a little bit of vinegar and a little bit of pepper and salt. And you could sprinkle them on the side. And it's so good with your greens. And so this is a good way, especially for us BBWs, right? We don't want to overdo it over the holiday season. We want to enjoy. It's mostly about being thankful, Thanksgiving, appreciating the American way. And then appreciating our family and having a little bit of time off to chillax, to unplug and enjoy some good food. But this way, if you have a whole bunch of greens and then a, your protein, a little bit of carbohydrate, you still stay within the bounds of whatever said diet that you call yourself being on without overindulging too much. OK. All right. So this is Diamond Chronicles, also known as Humble Dame, also known as Humble Lioness. You guys have a wonderful day. Peace.